Ever wanted to be in charge of your own airfield in World War II? Sending your planes out on missions and maintain the health and well-being of your ground crew and airmen? Well, Ground of Aces could be the game you're looking for. Or is it? Well, stick with me to find out as I give you my impressions of the recently released demo for a game that I have been anticipating for quite some time now. Much like the recent preview of the altars that I did a few months ago, this video started out as a playthrough, a narrated guide through the game as I played it. Having spent two hours or so in a limited demo across two different plays, I felt that the gameplay was such that a video like this where I could collate my thoughts and give you all the impressions would serve a far better purpose. Let me begin by letting you know that there is a caveat to everything that I'm about to say, so I want to make it very, very clear that this demo is an alpha build, a very early alpha build at that. The game is due to release into early access at the back end of 2024, possibly leaking into 2025, so there is still a ton of adjustments and tweaks to be made that will likely make quite a big difference. But that does not mean that honest, constructive criticism and feedback on this is not only valid, I think it's actually needed to make sure that this game is shaped in the correct way. I've already given my feedback on this to the devs, what they choose to do with that feedback of course, and all the others that they'll be getting from everybody else, is of course up to them. But I do think that they should pay attention to some of the things I'm about to say, even if not all of it. To the game then, and let me start off by saying that as a massive fan of the World War II time period, there was perhaps an element that my head was perhaps being unconsciously filled with thoughts about what this game could be. So there is a chance that I sort of went into this perhaps with unrealistic expectations, but having now had a few days to digest the game and collate all my thoughts together, I think that I've been able to put everything together to give a fair and balanced appraisal of this game. Ground of Aces is at its core a resource management game in its current form. The main loop is about ensuring you can sustain your ground crew and pilots in a base with all the amenities that they need. Food, water, entertainment, shelter, etc, etc. Each piece of the base is constructed and must be sourced from either your starting resources or resources that you gather from the areas around your base. Graphically, it does have a unique look to it, which is absolutely fine, if and if it's a bit rough around the edges in places, and largely the art style works nicely with the game, genre and the theme. Your workers are busy milling around, moving and building in a way that makes you feel connected to what you're actually creating. I would say though that there are times in this game where I perhaps felt like it was a little bit too on the cartoony side, and perhaps a little bit more realism would have been better, but that's a minor gripe. Now there are some fairly key bits missing from this alpha, such as the ability to edit and move things after placing them, as well as sounds from the planes and there only being one background music track that once it finishes takes minutes before it kicks in again quite randomly. All of these things are fairly irrelevant to a degree because there is no doubt in my mind that all of those things will be available in the early access release, but it is worth noting if you do decide to pick up this demo. However, the editing tool being missing, whilst I'm sure it will be in the full game, was a massive frustration in this demo. I did find a little workaround, as long as you have the blueprint uh, not created, but you mark everything else for destruction, it would remove the blueprint and then you could cancel the rest of the destruction to leave the building where it is. It was a workaround, but it was a giant pain nonetheless. The single biggest problem right now with this game is linked to the building system, and that is the overall pacing. Days come and go way too fast, so it feels like your ground crew don't really get a great deal done each day before they're consuming more food and water from the starting supply. And before you realise it, you are 10 to 20 cycles in and you've run out of starting food and water, you've barely got any beds down for everybody, and the machines required to make the materials you need to keep going, such as the kitchen to make food, the saw to convert wood to planks, and the machine that creates clean, fresh drinking water is nowhere near complete. This actually led me to effectively fail the first time I played this. I realised too late on that the priorities of what to build were drastically different to what I had planned due to the speed at which the game was progressing, versus the time it took for my ground crew to actually harvest the resources or actually build anything. My second playthrough armed with a better idea of things, but still the pacing meant that the progress was very, very slow. It took me a good 45 minutes to get the very, very basic setup and functioning how I would like. Thankfully though, pacing is something that, to the best of my knowledge at least, can be fairly quickly tweaked without too much work. So I do hope that if they take nothing else from this video and from the feedback that I've given them, that this is the one thing that they improve upon. And the second big issue I have with this game, and this is perhaps a little bit more on a personal level, is with the resource gathering and whether it sort of fits in with the lore of World War II. 
This almost certainly links back to what I said earlier about potentially having unrealistic expectations about what the game could be, perhaps born out of sheer excitement about getting a World War II game about looking after and managing planes, staff, and the general airbase itself. So to clarify what I mean, in World War II, the airbases would not have had to farm all their resources themselves, right down to picking mushrooms, felling trees, and harvesting water from nearby ponds. It would, of course, all have been delivered to them. How you make an interesting game about managing an airbase when everything you need to construct is simply delivered to you is quite a big question. So this approach is in no way the wrong one, and there is a feature that is not available in the demo, unfortunately, where you are allowed to radio HQ for supplies. So perhaps that gets around part of this problem. But of course, at this stage, I don't actually know what that is or how it works, so I can only comment on what I played. Furthermore, as somebody who loves World War II, the whole theme and lore thing really just... I couldn't escape that feeling that perhaps I wasn't really engrossed in this game. I was hoping that much more emphasis was going to be placed onto the management of the crew, the pilots and the planes themselves, rather than building the entire base brick from brick from resources harvested in the nearby area. Further pacing issues are evident when you wish to take planks from wood, for example, and you effectively place an order to be completed by your ground crew of making planks from, say, 20 wood, which would, in this game, give you 100 planks. Planks are a very, very important early resource in your base building project, but this process is slowed down significantly because the one person who is doing the build is the only one who is able to go and gather the resources from the stockpile and bring them to the machine. And it is done one wood at a time, and all 20 must be delivered before the planks are made. Genuinely, and I'm not making this up, this can take multiple in-game day cycles just to get all the wood to the woodworking station. So if you are thinking of picking this demo up, make damn sure your wood saw is somewhere close to your stockpile. This overall focus on resource management, at least in this build, also meant that other areas of the game that I wanted to see given more focus felt much more like sideshows and distractions than I was hoping. For example, once you get your base to the point that you can get planes in you simply request a plane and it arrives with a pilot then at some stage a mission will pop up you click it assign an aircraft and a pilot to it it gives you a probability of success and off they go then you sort of forget about it until they return or they don't there is so little fanfare around this which for me is something that absolutely should be given more time to further emphasizing the point that the missions are such a throwaway element right now comes when you see one of the missions pop up it's called operation birthday the target to gather cake for a birthday boy now, we're in 1940, the war is on, and we're sending a Hawker Hurricane to gather birthday cake. We then get constant updates telling us that our pilot managed to retrieve a slice of cake. Seven slices of cake have now been retrieved. The next update then telling us that he dropped a slice, but don't worry, he's still got ten on him. He then brings the cake back, and the luxury items, as they are categorised as, go into our stockpile. It's almost like this game is stuck in a little bit of an identity crisis here. It's almost like it doesn't know exactly where it wants to stand, both on the historical accuracy element of this game, nor on the actual main focus of it itself. There will be a lot of people out there, I suspect, who will be drawn to this because of the theme and the setting, just like I was. And I don't believe that there is a game out there that allows you to construct your own World War II airbase. So this is a quite a unique game in that sense. So by not being particularly faithful to the theme, might, and I do emphasize the word might, turn people off from this game. Especially when the videos and promo stuff I've seen seem to suggest that the main focus of the game is more about building a base that really looks after the planes, the missions, and the pilots. In this build, at least, the level of focus on those areas is incredibly light. In my head, I envisaged planes coming back from missions damaged, crew being wounded that needed attention, emergency vehicles assisting planes that have to make emergency landings, rearming the planes once they land, having to scramble pilots to planes for emergency missions or because your base is about to come under attack. Being able to see the absolute panic and rush to get those planes off the ground would be absolutely incredible especially if they happen to have recreated the sound of those majestic Merlin engines on those planes, such as the Spitfire and Lancaster. All of these things are definitely nice to haves, but for me would really help that immersion in the game. During the feedback that I gave to the devs via their survey, they actually mentioned that they had four core pillars of focus for this game. The base building, the management of the planes, the management of the crew, and their personal stories and the historical World War II aspects. In my opinion, the base building side of things needs tweaking, and although I don't like the fact that we're harvesting pond water for our war effort, I can live with that if the other three pillars are given way more focus. A big part of the World War II air battle for me is the absolutely heroic and tragic stories of pilots and crew, often at very, very young ages, flying out to battles and quite often not returning home. Feeling a level of connection with them is key, because I think depending on what direction the missions take, the missions we're sending them on may often lead to some or all of them not returning. So making that aspect of the game such a throwaway section, which is what it is in its current state, 
whereby you just kind of request a new pilot and plane and instantly replace any that don't come home would be a big miss and turns that side of the game into an aimless point and click sideshow with absolutely no downside to losing aircraft or pilots. Perhaps I'm going too deep into this. Imagining a perfect World War II game in this setting is maybe an unfair expectation to levy at the developers. But without that link to World War II in a decent way, I'm not sure there is anything particularly unique here about the base building that makes this stand out from what is quite a diluted pack. Can they make this a great game from this base? Yes, I think absolutely they can. The pacing is a huge issue for me, but it is possibly the easiest to fix from everything that I've talked about. I'm in no way turned off from this game as yet, but if there is to be any future demos or tests ahead of the early access release later this year, then I would really like to see some evidence or perhaps some just further information on how they are going to lean more into the World War II theme to really grip me. That being said, there is also likely a lot more content that was not in this demo that would likely be included in that early access release that could very well change the feel and tone of this game anyway. So there we have it. A slightly disappointing experience with Ground of Aces, but definitely not a deal breaker. This is very much still on my wish list, and I'll be keeping an eye on its development very closely, and I will happily give it a try regardless of which direction the developers go. Their vision is their prerogative, and I will happily give up my time to experience the game as they envisage it. Of course, I hope that they will lean into more of the World War II lore and stories and in, try and engross us a little bit more, but only time will tell if that is the direction that they wish to go. So thanks everyone for watching. What are your thoughts on this? Am I making too big of a deal of the whole lore and historical accuracy element of this game? Does it bother you guys? Do you really care about all that stuff? Are you more interested in the base building? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And finally, all that is left for me to say is to make sure you hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the sub button for more, ring the notification bell, join the Discord, and I will see you all on the next one.